So, you just started Middle-Earth Shadow of Mordor, and you're thinking, I'm a badass ranger with freaky wraith abilities. All y'all orcs are about to feel the sting of my blades and then die horribly. Well, think again, my Milan. Rush into battle in Shadow of Mordor, and you'll see a whole lot of this. So yeah, Shadow of Mordor can be pretty tough, especially in the first few hours. And though you respawn quickly and even gain an XP boost for dying, death comes at a price. See those orcs moving up the chain of command, especially the one that killed you? They're all getting tougher, meaner, and more man-hungry. But if you play smart, the tide of battle will slowly shift your way. Here are a few tips to make your first few hours in Shadow of Mordor go a little smoother. Tip 1. Don't play this like your Ezio Auditore Deferente. Sure, Talion may move with the grace of an assassin, but this is no Assassin's Creed game. Combat here is definitely more challenging, so don't try to take on the hordes and expect to survive. These orcs may be dumb, but their sheer numbers can easily overwhelm you, so don't be afraid to scurry away and come back around to murder orcs another time. This leads to our second tip. Stalk your prey. You'll soon notice that picking fights tends to attract other orcs, so what may start out as a manageable battle between you and a few Uruks can quickly escalate into a multi-captain mosh pit, only instead of getting bludgeoned by Elbows and Doc Martens, you're dealing with orc steel and explosive arrows. Talion is a stealthy dude, so use his skills to isolate your foes. Identify captains in each area using your Wraitho vision, stalk them from up high, and don't engage until they've moved to a relatively isolated position. Orcs don't tend to look up very much, so sticking to the high ground and following a captain shouldn't be a problem. Oh, and while you're at it, thin out any companions a captain may have with some well-placed headshots. Captains won't be as much of a hassle when they're forced to take you on one-on-one. -on -one. Our third big tip is multifaceted. Choose your upgrades wisely. Italian's upgrade tree has some sweet moves available for unlocking as you progress through the game, but some are more handy than others, especially if you want to give yourself an edge in combat. In the first tier of upgrades, choose Wraith Stun and Impact. Wraith Stun is a move you should be busting out regularly, as it stuns your target for a few precious seconds. Impact does something similar, staggering or stunning any orc you manage to parry. And trust us, any skill that disables your enemies mid-fight is a good skill. The second tier has some great abilities as well, but you'll only unlock these by completing story quests. I don't want to get too spoilery here, but if you want to use the excellent Shadow Strike and Wraith Flash, make room on your dance card for Deagle. I mean, Smeagol. Wait, which one is he going by these days? <coughs> call him! I'll call him! Uh, excuse me. Shadow Strike allows you to traverse long distances quickly, which is handy for sneaking around, while Wraith Flash allows you to do an area of effect blast in the heat of battle. The third tier of abilities is where you'll get the very handy Vault Stun, which stuns any enemy you jump over. This is an awesome ability to have during battle, so the quicker you get this, the better. Also in tier 3 is the Wraith Finisher. Not only does this allow you to quickly string along kills while in combat, its head-popping finale also terrifies nearby orcs, giving you some much-needed breathing room in the heat of battle. Once you get to Tier 3, you'll be a much fiercer and deadlier force to be reckoned with. More like the ranger you hoped you'd be than the ranger you actually were. Will you now be able to take on all of Mordor's challenges on your own? Well, maybe not, but the sharp rise in decapitated orc heads is a sign you're on the right path.